Hello world, welcome to my third tutorial solving problems with programming. This tutorial is about the third core called temperature. And I just want to display a query error that I had to face in doing this program. So uh, we have now the, the, the assignment with uh, WSQ2 temperature with week three. And well, what we'll do is uh, write a program that will prompt the user for a temperature in Fahrenheit and then convert it to Celsius. You may recall that the formula is C equals to five times uh, parentheses, uh, the, uh, the number of, of, of degrees in Fahrenheit, minus 32, and this, uh, and this, uh, and this operation divides by nine. So we, well, what are we going to do is modify up and make it better this program by modif um, by modify it and to state whether or not water will boil at the temperature given. Your output might look like this following. This is an example. So we are going to do it. I have already do the I have already did the the code so here it is first as usual we we call the library uh, I use string to call all the functions of inputs and outputs in, in language C++ this is a mastery topic one uh, we put this using a space std that we see before in C++, we need a command that every time goes with the instructions or input and, and outputs of data that is called std, but with this command helps writing this std out and the main be of the main because the machine factorizes them. So we have the beginning of the program. We uh, in this program, I declared two decimal uh, variables called m and c. And then we uh, we put a, an output uh, to tell the user to to give me the temperature in Fahrenheit. Well, to to say to say to the user uh, what to enter. So we put this uh, this text. What is the temperature in Fahrenheit? Uh, with this syntaxes, and this is the mastery topic four comma no our data in form of text. And then we put saying temp. Sin is uh, we saw in the last uh, video that e it stands for uh, input values. So uh, this this covers the mastery topic five. This command allows enter data for inputs. In this case, this enters the value uh, the value of variable temp. So the user freeze will be and en uh, enter the value of uh, of it can be a flood a flood volume uh, in Fahrenheit so uh, then after after the user enter this value uh, I, uh, I asked the program to do this um, uh, this this process this mathematical process that we see before uh, and, my, and makes the mathematical conversion from Fahrenheit to Celsius. To Celsius. Okay. Entonces, uh, so uh, we have uh, the command C out uh, a temperature of. Uh, we uh, to to tell the user this text a temperature of. And the, and the real value entered by the user, and we say degrees in Fahrenheit, in Fahrenheit is uh, the number of, of the of the of the variable c that can be flowed, uh, and is processed uh, the value in Celsius that we uh, that we saw before this instruction, and we say that is in Celsius, and we unline. So. Command number of data in form of text. This uh, uh, this text. Well, this command. In this text, we show the authentic output of the value enter of temp and c and c in the terminal. And after that, 
interface. This is a Masito P4. Uh, and we have a, a command that is mm, that is our info root text where where any state solid. So well this is for the for tell the user the state of the of the uh, of the or the state of the um, of the work or the temperature of the substance. So we have now a, a con the first condition we, we are going to face if that is the mastery topic 10 use of the if statement. This command, this command if, uh, this command allows the condition if the value of 10 is higher or equal to 212 and when this connection will, uh, will be true, the, uh, the task inside of the statement will execute. In this case, if the, value, if, the, if the value is higher or equal than 10, will occur this, these two, ex, two ex statements. So we have to think in Fahrenheit. So uh, why why do I put 212? Uh, I search in internet and ask what is the temperature in Fahrenheit when yeah it evaporates. I uh, will ask uh, I ask Google what uh, is what temperature in Fahrenheit does water boil and I saw here uh, at about 212 degrees using this scale. So I put, that's why I put 212. And then uh, uh, I put a, a, a text on output that is, uh, we, say, we see out, master it P4, and, and it tells the user water does boil at this temperature. When, when, this, when this condition occurs, is is because the water does boil in this temperature, and water is instead of liquid and gas. You, you are converting the, the state of liquid in, in, in gas that is evaporation. That is the process of evaporation. So uh, after that, we, ha we need to add a, a, another condition. Uh, for example, in this case, I put another, um, another nesting conditional or the Maserati topic 12 nesting or condition in statement. It's ifs inside ifs. And this is for adding other if condition if the last if isn't true. In this new new testing statements, as the value of temperature lower or equal to zero. So if the temperature is uh, is less or equal than zero, it will do this the, this statement or this task that is a command of data in form of text. Uh, and tells the user the water is in a state solid. And we have uh, um, uh, another condition that is the else, and this is a massage topic 11. Use of else with a conditional if. If the condition does not achieve, on the, on the other hand, you will do this, that is this, uh, this condition or this statement, that is a uh, command out of uh, data in form of text that it tells the user water does not boil at this temperature. So we are going to com uh, to compile this and to tell uh, to show you that it works. So I open my terminal. I go to my file. I download. I have a, I have a, I guess I have already saved my. Uh, my file. So uh, I go to downloads and I compile the G plus uh, plus wskey2.cpp. So I go enter. Ah, enter. And I'm going to run it. Point the slash a point out. So I, I ask what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? I put 212. I go enter. And voila, a temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit is 100 degrees in Celsius. The water 
is in a state uh, like liquid where also is in a state of liquid and gas to be more specified uh, to give more information of that kind of uh, state and water does boil this temperature so if i want to run it then for example i give um, zero uh it tells a temperature of uh, uh of, of zero degrees in fahrenheit is minus uh 17.78 70, uh, in celsius and this is correct uh to tell that that kind of scale and the water is dead solid so I have a problem here. So I, I repeat uh, again this this thing. I, I repeat that the state is liquid and should be solid. So how I fix this? Uh, I delay the part. That's why it tells me a little strange when I, uh, I, uh, I initialize this video. So if I delete this because it's always it's, it's in the beginning, it doesn't tell the condition. Uh, we'll save and okay and I will compile it again and I will execute uh, where is the temperature of Fahrenheit I will tell uh, well the at first 212 at temperature 200 degrees in Fahrenheit is 160 that is correct water does boil at this temperature and water is stayed liquid and gas and then what we have to do is uh, again, I will again and run it. And what is the temperature in Fahrenheit? I put zero. Okay, and that's how I solve it. A temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit is minus 17.7 uh, degrees in Celsius. Uh, the water is ten solid, so that's why I fixed the problem. So we are okay. Yay! And this is I explain everything. So uh, in the uh, so yes. So see you next time. Hein?